Hello everyone, my name is Keita Ida. Um, I work at NVIDIA in a role where we work with game companies to take advantage of Tegra in the best way possible. And we're delighted here for the first time to show you some new things we're introducing in Taiwan for the Computex show. So if we take a look at here, um, this is what we call Project Kalel, which is uh, our next generation Tegra hardware. And we work very closely with game companies already to take advantage of the quad core and extra GPU processing power, which will be available in Kalo. This example is by Capcom, who have um, brought, adapted their game from PlayStation 3 over to uh, Kalo, and this is a technology demo of Lost Planet 2. So as you'll recall, last year we had the full DirectX 11 PC version um, that was introduced, and just one year later, at the same Computex, we have it on Kalel. So the whole point being that you're soon going to be able to experience console and PC quality gaming on your mobile device, outputted in HD to your TV. It's extremely exciting times for the gamer. So obviously, not to be left out, Tegra 2 is the hottest thing right now currently available for people to buy. Um, and a lot of game companies are hard at work um, making compelling content that will take advantage. So as you, as you saw, the future of Tegra and for gaming on mobile is very, very bright. However, the current, the present on Tegra 2 is awesome as well. A lot of developers are hard at work um, to bring awesome experiences to you, the gamer. Um, this game that you're looking at here is called Soulcraft. It's by a developer called Mobile Bits, and uh, you know you can see that they have great-looking shadows, um, weapons, and spell effects. Um, you know it's extremely uh, you know console quality. So in fact, uh, this game will be available on PC as well as on Tegra, and the quality will be pretty much the same. Um, so as you can see, there's some compelling experiences here, and then we're gonna show. Oh. We're going to show one more for you. This one here that we're going to show you is called Da Vinci. Um, there's developers from around the world. I know earlier you saw Shadow Gun by um, uh, the, our friends in the Czech Republic. Um, here, this is now from Korea. It's called Da Vinci. Uh, that takes place in uh, Firenze in Italy. Um, This is truly looking next generation. Also, if you look at the characters in this game, look at the detail. It's truly amazing. The fact that it's possible on a mobile device. Uh, notice the reflections, notice the normal maps, notice the high number of polygons. Extremely uh, advanced uh, models being used for characters. So, game, many games like this are available now and possible for you to play on Tegra 2. Um, this game called uh, Da Vinci by Korean developer Brydia will be available uh, later this year and um, it's certainly one that you guys should be excited about.